people that quoted in the amounts. Yeah, well, I can do that. Uh, looks like, and I will say, it's all white vehicles. It's the same the half ton The best I could come up with okay. was on this. All right, we're talking about a half ton pickup truck, four wheel drive, uh, crew cab, and they're all, looks like, uh, is that a Ford? Yeah, F-150. Yeah. Looks like two Fords and a Chevrolet. Yes. So we're looking at Jim O'Neill, and you want to read each of the quotes. Just the amounts. $50,940.08. Uh, Eddie Gilstrap, $52,100 even. And John Jones with a Chevrolet uh, for $58,060. So if you want to look at those, they're all half ton. They got it. crew cabs. Same package as best that I can tell that the John Jones, they didn't actually have any 23s to even price me, so they had to price a 24. Well, I and thought one of them was a 24. And then the two, yeah, the Chevrolet is the two Fords okay, are, are both 23s. And Ford told me the same thing if they didn't have them two, they'd be about eight to ten thousand dollars more for the 24 Ford, too. So but they just didn't have anything in 23 in that particular range. So, so we're still, the Jim O'Neill's still the cheapest. Yeah, and actually they did this, this as a favor to me, but they have actually had that vehicle put back for a month. <laughs> and I told them the situation. I told them it wasn't a guarantee because I didn't know if the county yep. council would transfer the money and they did that willingly. So that that's the one I'm shooting yes. for. Well, yeah. and that gets me in. If they're the lowest, then yeah, I yeah. think that we're we're just obligated to do that. Anyway. Yeah, and that's well with the, it's in the two payments. Thanks, Gary. All right, I'll uh, entertain a motion to allow. Uh, yes the area planning department to building commission oh it's building commission all right building commission uh i'll entertain a motion to accept the levels bid here i'll make that motion randy makes a motion to accept jim o'neill's bid of fifty thousand nine hundred forty dollars and eight cents for a 23 f-150 four drive for crew cap for the and it actually Low says slope. Lowest quote, building, Scott County Building Commission. So I'll second that uh, since Gray's not here. So I guess it passes. So. Okay, now let me ask you this since this is the first time I've done this, do I go down there? Do I have to have one of you guys with me? How do I it has see with the city and the title work and things would mm -hmm. need to be signed by them, but you can go down to execute the purchase agreement okay. as the authorized purchasing agent. Okay, so it has back, to be bring it back here to you guys. It actually in the paperwork there probably needs to be changed because it has to be titled in the commissioner's name. Okay. So the paperwork also has to be in the commissioner's okay. name. So it's it's, it's, it's the Scott County it's the Scott County Board of Commissioners. Okay. Uh, so the title has to be, the paperwork has to be, and you can sign it as a representative. Okay. But, it, but it, when it comes here, the titles be signed by us. Okay. I wasn't sure, so I thought I better yeah. get that cleared up tonight. Yes, but we've had that problem in the past, and actually uh, trying to get the prosecutor's car corrected. Uh, there's actually two, two accounts in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. There's the Scott County Board of Commissioners, and then there's the, uh, the Department of the, or something else that says Board of Commissioners. There's two different accounts up there, and it <laughs> yeah. took me about a week to figure that out. Yeah. Because they're probably saying, nope, you don't have an account. Nope, you don't. So, but we have two. What and motor is in this? Huh? Two on. What motor is in this? It's got the four, a five oh. It's got the V eight. Okay. That was the thing. Uh, I really wanted the V eight, and they're hard to find right now. Yeah. The all three vehicles had the five oh. Yeah, for Chevy. Do what with Chevrolet? What was the motor in Chevrolet? Yeah, it's the eight cylinder. I don't know what yeah. they actually call it, but it's it's the eight cylinder. <clears throat> they don't tell what motor. 
I don't, okay. I don't even remember, but it was all three ends, eight cylinder. It's eight cylinder motor. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, fellas. All Thank right. you. Good luck with getting a plate because it'll take forever. Well, she has to say something, but I have to get a new one. I don't know if I can fit that. No, they won't. I don't think they'll transfer. Uh, I know. <laughs> The yeah, city yeah. of Scottsburg, I mean, we have a fire vehicle that we're still trying to get a plate. It, it took Chris oh Owens, God. it took us three months. Oh, more than that. It ran, the, the paper tag ran out and he had to park it because he, uh, it, we couldn't drive it. So it took at least another 45 days to get it. And I'd probably it. have to have all the title work and everything done before that. You need, to make sure, you need to make sure it's right because mm -hmm. in that sense, it was... You know, it was different, and nobody can, nobody would see it. And so, yeah, make sure all of your P's and Q's are done. So. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, thank all you. right. Thank you. I know uh, BZA and the area plan, and I know we're not going to acknowledge that right now. So, so uh, I know I will say that we had interviews with two individuals uh, the other night, Monday night, for. Uh, right. To, uh, to try to fill the position of Marty's position at, at the area plan. And um, we were going to not act on that until closer to the end of the month. So, or maybe, I think we're gonna have a special meeting for the end of the month anyway. So there's, there's five weeks in this, this month. So. so we're gonna have to have another one before the December meeting, so. We will we'll probably act on that appointment at that time in, our, in a special meeting prior, you know, prior to the December. I think is it six? Hang on, yeah, December six is next meeting. <clears throat> we're talking about an appointment, or we're talking about the position. Talking yeah. about who we're going to hire. Okay. And, okay. And then at that point, we're going to uh, discuss, you know, the training aspect of what we're we're wanting, and I'll just tell people. I mean. What we want to do is to hire someone. Marty's leaving it on, at the end of the December. Uh, we would like to have at least four weeks of her training someone in that position before she leaves. So uh, we need to speak with the council to make sure that we can fund it. We, Marty says she had some funds left over that they're going to be turned back. So I don't know how much that is, but if you can kind of come up with that number maybe that'll help with the somebody swallowing that field so so all right Rain, you got anything else on that no all right uh, the highway department kevin's not here but kevin actually sent everybody an email today stating uh, some uh, progressions with uh, bridge 105 which is the main street bridge uh, from what i understand it's it is a i won't say it's ahead of schedule but I think from the pictures that he sent, I think they're they're on their way. And if we get keep weather like we got right now, I hope that it's done earlier than the 120 days. And I don't know if you've been out there or not, but yeah, yeah they're they're ahead of schedule. They're way. I, I won't say way ahead of schedule, but the, you know, say that something will happen. But anyway, it's, it's a soft situation actually because it's, you know ahead of schedule because they demo quicker but demoing always goes quick and the yeah. building part so it, it could yeah, you want to be careful about going out there too much to get our neck out same way you know it you could abruptly slow down yeah but anyway he uh, he also has here inspection supplement for signatures so. you know what i think that was one i had copied and i, I don't know i don't have that that's fine I, uh, but again, I think uh, he also had, uh, I think we we made a payment already, a first payment, a yeah. construction payment already. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, that, prog that progress on that project is uh, moving along. So so we'll move on with that. Uh, looks like uh, one Southern Indiana Regional Development Authority appointment approval. Um, it's a form that they wanted signed. I thought we did that when they were here. No, this is a different, I'm not sure. This is about a resignation. Mm. A what? 
a resignation. There's the oh, I know what you're talking about. You're, we're talking about two different things. Okay. You're just, talking about the RDA board. I was just from there what was, from yeah. the email that I received, uh, John Jones has uh, resigned from that board, the RDA board. And we have well, no, it's not ours. It's, not ours. it's Washington it's County. Okay. But Washington County, yeah, every five, every, each of the five counties has to sign off on on that appointment, and it's not just as easy as saying, you know, if somebody left our county, it, it wasn't that us just putting somebody in there. These people have to approve it. Then it goes to the state. The state has to approve it. So that's right. Uh, with this, I believe their appointment. Uh, is Mr. Forsyth, yeah. Uh, if I think that's if that's right, um, that's he owns an insurance company. I think in Washington County. So we're just then we're just signing. We're off just approving, approving their appointment. So I, I don't know. You got any? <coughs> I don't. I I don't know. We got to sign up. We got to vote on it. Then we're going to sign it. But uh, we're not doing that either, right? Yeah, we're done. Thought you just said we weren't going to do it. No. no I, I uh, thought it was something else, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Forsythe's wife, Julie, which I don't know, I don't know you, this is this is probably beyond you, but Julie Forsythe used to used to live here. Used to be Julie Young. Uh, her dad was a state police officer, and Julie left here. She worked for Scott County State Bank for a long time, and then ended up getting married, moving to Salem, and they owned. They own Foresight Insurance Company over there, but um, but I'll entertain a motion to for our our side of the votes for the RDA board to approve Mr. Foresight. I'll make a motion to accept their nomination. Randy makes a motion, and I'll second that. So we can go ahead and sign our John Henry's. Yeah, I'm trying to give you something right on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be a nice guy. I know, I know how you are. Fifteen. So we're at eleven. This day is the fifteenth. Uh, All right. Done with that. <laughs> Holiday meals. Randy, I think you're. <coughs> um, okay. Um, the uh, on behalf of the board of commissioners, uh, we are trying to provide a a uh, Thanksgiving Day lunch for all departments uh, and employees. Uh, so uh, I think the uh, the amount is going to be roughly. Was it three thirty one hundred dollars? We missed that one. Yeah. And uh and we're 31. gonna be taking that out of our uh venture trucking fund. Uh so we, we do not have to have that approved by the council. Uh so you so know, we need a motion to spend our money. Yeah, we need a motion to. <clears throat> well, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the thirty-one hundred dollars. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say thirty-four hundred dollars, not to exceed thirty-four hundred dollars in case it's some change and whatever. Yeah. Um, not to exceed thirty-four hundred dollars for Scott County government employees. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner, so. And uh, did she say anything about drinks? No. I don't believe that's included. We might actually have to, I mean, what do you think? We probably need to add some well, tea or some sweet tea or. But then you're gonna fall into cups and everything else. But I mean, the, the issue is that some of these, it's not a dinner where it's gonna be set down. Everybody's taking a, yeah, like a, a lunch in a. No, I think they'll be delivered to the department. She, um, we had a text today. By the end of the day, I need to tell her how many people for each department and where it needs to be delivered to and what time. I'd okay. say just to sure they can drink, as, as Opie says on 
Andy Griffin, drink water. <laughs> so, okay. So, Mike makes a motion yeah. to uh, not to exceed thirty four hundred dollars. I second that motion. All right. So, so be it. All right. Uh, consideration of the regular special invoice. I guess this is what you got here. We need to sign something. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I think this. they wanted those signed on the bottom. Actually, yeah, we need to sign this so we can uh, photocopy this. And the reason Greg's not here, he's at a required uh, training for his job with the state. So, um, but we can have him stop in and yeah. sign that as well. And there's the special invoices there. Is that what this is? No. That might be rent. This is. I think that's Randy's. Is this yours or is this? That's mine. Yeah. I tried to let you write on it once. They're, these are the special invoices. I don't have to pay them. Nothing. I don't have the payroll out here. That's all right. We'll sign. <clears throat> I can run it real quick. He's going to look that for a second. So I, I, I just always like to sign in front of everybody. So. Now, how many people are you feeding? Out of curiosity. Uh, I think there's 210 employees. That's a good price. Yeah. Yeah. Who, can we ask who's catering? I'm sorry? Who's catering? It's uh, Summer Grant. Or the Brook. The Bistro. Mm -hmm. It'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. I'm sure she does a good job. Do you guys do that every year? No. First time. That's good. I like that. <laughs> All right, there's a, a special invoice here from Amazon Capital Services for $253.98, and it looks like it's, uh, oh, this is, I think, from Andrew, yeah, I think so, Andrew Campbell, and uh, Entertain a motion to pay this one invoice. I'll yeah. make that motion. All right. I sent you something. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely will. I, I do have a question for you. Go that way and not have to come back. Is, is the one that I sent to you, is it in the, Is it in here? It should be. I will, I will go ahead. I'll do a now. Print this up at But these are, in the re these are in regular invoices, correct, Jennifer? Those are specials. Even these? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, part of that was the election, so I want to get that one done. Yeah. All right. I'm going to look and see if the one that I, you and I talked about is a man's business. So. Uh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. 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 Lunchtime. It's going to be lunchtime. Mm -hmm. That can be 11 to 2.30. Well, they, have to, be, they have to deliver the meals every it's day, gonna so be, I don't want to put an exact time. It's going to be delivered time, so this is all like-based. So there's not any of the others that we talked about? Okay. What's a special invoice that you had? That you uh, it's for Amazon. It's for credit cards. And it looks like, uh, yeah, the rest of this is a conglomeration of uh, election election stuff. So, <clears throat> well, we can go ahead and do this too. We can go ahead and do this one if she gets another one. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to uh, pay the invoices in all the uh, election um, expenses. And it looks like it's 7000 Three hundred ten dollars and sixteen cents. So I'll make that motion. Randy makes the motion uh, to pay the 
the fees for the election or the the money for the city elections, and I'll second that. So. Was the one you were looking for in there? No, those were all the election, I think. It was for uh, it was for the appraiser. Right? Yeah. I know I sent it, but I don't know if it you went. You said that she was Mandy or somebody was working on yes. it. Yes. It was for. This pull up. Do you want me to go print it off real quick? Uh, yes, if you would, please. That's for one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, it was four. Uh, this says two thousand. Oh, no, that's the wrong. This one. is two thousand. That's the right. Get you back payroll book. I mean, you should do it, you? I'll, while we're waiting for that special invoice, I'll go ahead and do the consideration for the payroll claims. So if you had an opportunity to look at that, yeah. So I'll entertain a motion to pay the employees. I'll make that motion. Randy makes a motion to approve and pay the payroll for November the third, twenty twenty-three. So I'll second that. You notice how much quicker things go with Greg being here? Well, he's not quiet when he sits down there. So. Well, mm -hmm. This is presence, I guess. Not a lot on there. Not a lot on there. We'll say something while we wait for Jennifer because we're, I'm, I'm going to have to go back through some old records to try to find out who is the contact. But um, years ago, I think even before you were here, we uh, signed a contract with a tower company for Verizon to put a Verizon tower behind John Jones building. They even came out and, and um, did all sur the site survey, did the approval through FCC, and they haven't done anything. And, you know, if anybody's got Verizon, they know it. the service right now is not very good in, the county, in Scott County and not Scottsburg. So. Uh, or Austin. I mean, it's terrible when it can, you know. So I don't, I'm trying to figure out who is the contact so that we can um, Mike, I didn't reach out to them today, but I didn't. I, I just found it before the meeting. I haven't That's not looked at it. <laughs> but <coughs> we'll go back and see if we can figure out because they were actually, I don't know when the lease, um, I don't know when the lease was supposed to start and if it's, they're not paying us till they start. So they put a tower up, or they they're leasing the property now because it's. So you're having trouble getting finding out who you need to talk to from Verizon. Well, but I can help you. But nine out of ten times, the person from Verizon is not the person that's building the tower. So right, or or putting the tower up there. But, but you want me to help you get in touch with the right guy? Sure. Okay. Uh, so we was contacted by AT and T because they would like to go ahead and put a tower up uh, behind the John Jones building. And uh, I think we may be all to entertain that. Uh, well, we've already entered in an agreement with somebody else, I think. Shh. <laughs> now Verizon a contact. Yeah, I, I, that's probably not true because they, they probably don't watch things like this. <laughs> but anyway, we need to figure out, or I will. Uh, I'll go back to some minutes and some. I probably have a file at home where I have that paperwork, or because I usually kept a copy of the. Of the contract, so I'll probably see if I have it. So, otherwise, we need to we need to get with them, and they either a need to see what the contract reads if it's for a hundred years, or if it's um, it doesn't start till they put it up. So, yeah, I do have something that we probably need to amend the agenda to discuss, but just be um, we just have the invoice. Um, 
previously retained Cross Crown Todd for um, services relative to preparation of uh, and review of any ARPA uses and any documents that we might um, use that I that I am not comfortable drafting. Um, they have asked us for a waiver of a potential conflict, um, and the potential conflict has been reviewed by me. Um, it's outlined in the waiver, and I see no problem with it, but they're just asking for documentation of that. <clears throat> okay. I'll entertain a motion to amend the agenda to uh, be able to uh, consider this waiver of potential conflict. I'll make that motion. Brandy makes a motion to agenda or amend the agenda to uh, bring up this waiver of potential conflict from uh, Frost, Brown, Todd. So I'll second that. So with that, I'll let you look at that. I'll make a motion to accept the waiver. Uh, Randy's made a motion to accept the waiver of potential conflict between the Scott County Board of Commissioners and Frost Todd Brown. So I'll uh, I'll actually second that, and uh, it passes. So let's go fifteenth of well, actually that's that's in there. Two nays. Oh, you already got it. That's good. Two nays. All right, I'm going to go back to the special invoice for uh, Baker a Commercial Real Estate Appraisal Invoice. Uh, so this is for uh, appraisal we had done on some property and in the amount of $2,000. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, pay that invoice. I'll make the motion. Randy makes a motion to uh, pay the invoice for the appraised properties uh, for the amount of $2,000, and I'll second that. So, pay the bill. Did you sign this? Is that Jennifer? Uh, no, I'll get Jennifer's signature. It's just an invoice. Copy. All right. Uh, I guess anybody got anything else? I told Randy it's going to be the shortest meeting he's ever been. Oh, payroll. Uh, okay. I thought we did that. We did payroll. Oh, we, we, are, we already did We, okay, we got to sign it. Oh, oh, we did sign it. We did? Yeah. Have you? Okay. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I signed it. Oh, I signed it. Sign. Oh, they did. Look, yeah. we're good. All right. Uh, Zach, you got anything else? I do not have anything. Randy, you got anything else? I do not. Uh, well, I actually, I, I do have something real quick, just a information only. Um, I know several people have been asking about um, how much the council spent with Baker and Tilly to uh, do the budget for the council, and. Um, I believe that figure is between twenty five and twenty eight thousand dollars. So, in uh, the spirit of being open with everybody, that is what that number is. Well, is that the first time they've ever paid anybody to do a budget? Yes. Well, I, I, I want to be clear. Baker Tilly didn't do the budget. No. They assisted and facilitated the review of yes. submitted budgets in order to, um, you know, assist the council. But that and that is not the first time that they have assisted. Assisted. Well, I mean, their involvement. That, that's a nice in way to put it. Particular budget may have been 
um, more than in the, I think the last fiscal cycle. I could not speak to previous fiscal cycles. That, and it's because I, was, and I, I mean, it, myself and we had new council people, we, and we wanted to learn a new, new way of doing that too, so. I will, I will, I will put it this way. Zach is correct. They, they did not do the budget. They made suggestions and the council agreed with the suggestions. So. Well, and I know some places where the council found things that they had questions about where even from Baker Tilly's side, like the council found things that they were questioning. So it wasn't all, it just went off flowing from mm -hmm. Baker Tilly, I guess. Is what I'm no. Anyway. All right. We'll leave it there. I, uh, I know, and I'm going to say it's probably been three months if, when uh, there was an audit or an auditor here from the State Board of Accounts and uh, <clears throat> there, was a, there was, had been a question of uh, the retirement fund for, or I won't say a retirement fund. We haven't, is it called empowerment? Empower. Empower is the third party mm -hmm. that third party. Yeah, manages, is managing at, we had a third party. They transferred, they were bought out basically by yeah. Empower. The fund numbers didn't exactly like automatically transfer. We need to go back and do an audit so that we can there need to be some corrections that are made that has tax implications yeah. for people and we have to go back into that. Well we thought we thought we we thought we actually had done that. And we had reached out. But it didn't happen. Well, we did and I thought something was being done and no, didn't. yeah, it did not happen. Well, anyway, I I reached out to someone that uh, used to be a state auditor and he gave me uh, some names of some people that he knew that would do this. I did reach out to a company in uh, Seymour and uh, they actually called me back today and said that they didn't feel like they had the manpower at this time to be able to do that. So they actually gave me a name of another company, which I'm going to reach out to tomorrow and have them reach out to Jennifer and say, hey, we can, we can't, or whatever. But, uh, which, I mean, I understand things, but I also don't understand because the lady at the State Board of Accounts act like it'd be a very simple mm -hmm. one or two day type of thing that she would smack through it and be done with it. Well. <laughs> uh, and then they came back and said, no, we can't do anything like that at all. Like, yeah, actually, yeah, and I kind of wonder if it's, I don't know, somebody else over, you know, spoke out of turn or what. So, but anyway, I will reach out to this other company tomorrow and, and then I'll have them reach out to you and uh, if, you know, if they say they can do it uh, because we need to get, put that thing to bed. Uh, but I will say that, and correct me if I'm wrong, the Empower said that they thought it was correct at this point, did they not? I do not know that. I'm thinking there's two different issues. There's a separate, there's, there's a county side contribution, I think, that needs to be assessed. Well, uh, yeah, yes, and that was more ongoing. The, there was two problems. There was one that we came in. Um, I think Mass Mutual had been bought by Empower like around the end of October, 1st of November last year. And then when we started taking payments out of people's checks, it set in the account because the way that it used to be transferred into Empower or Mass Mutual was not the same for Empower. There hadn't been training done, so it didn't get done. And it was, um, I'm thinking in February when we found this, it was in March. And we finally got everything done. I think as far as that's taken care of through Empower, 
that's that's all taken care of. But I think there might have been an issue <clears throat> prior, well, according. We have to go back and look at the time frame that whatever was supposed to be happened was not happening because of that change that's in ownership. Correct. And yeah. again, it affects you know county side contribution, but also potentially like gains and things on this. You know, we just have to go back. We need to know yeah. what the number is. Yeah. So anyway, I'll reach out to this person we'll tomorrow, and then I'll have them reach out to you. So if and this company looks like they they might be out of local, so is it still might Mount Joy Children Medley or Monroe Shine? Uh, <laughs> Jones, Nate, and Hathaway. Okay. You know them? Uh, not. I don't know them personally. But, but the company I reached out the first time was Blue and, and Company LLC. I've seen more. Uh, but this other company is, it's, and I say that they may not be out of level, but the, the number I have is a 502 number, but anybody in Southern Indiana can have an 800 number, or right? 502 number. Um, so moving on, this is that contract. Okay. Uh, but, uh, and it was signed on 714 of 22. Um, with so some I can't read this guy's handwriting but I want you to look at it <clears throat> so alright anybody got anything else I'll entertain a motion to close the meeting motion to adjourn Randy Anderson Makes a motion to adjourn the meeting on the second day. So, Gilbert.